Good morning there, Chris. So basically, the school board voted to end its contract with Minnetonka Police, and that contract technically expires at the end of the year. So what they're going to do is once that expires, instead of having a school resource officer, they're going to reallocate all of that money toward more mental health support. And they're also going to review the district's discipline and safety policies to try to make a more positive environment. Now, a lot of this was this change was student driven. Throughout the summer, four students met with the superintendent to share ideas on how to lead an unbiased review. Then last month, they presented these recommendations to the board. Last night, one of those students talked about seeing an officer in school with a gun day after day and the trauma that comes with it. This is more than just safety. This is trauma. This is mental illness. This is, this is very heavy things that is causing lasting damages to a large part of our student body. Now, since the death of George Floyd, we've heard of a lot of organizations cutting ties with police departments like First Ave and MIA. We also know and we've reported on Minneapolis and St. Paul Public Schools cutting ties with their respective police departments. But Hopkins being a suburb now taking on this issue and making this big change, it'll be interesting to see if other suburbs latch on and make this change as well. But we do know that between now and the end of December when that contract expires, there's going to have to be a lot of conversations within the district about how this transition is actually going to play out. Chris? Yeah, definitely another step in a trend that we've seen of districts cutting ties with police. Ellery McCardle reporting live this morning.